John Benner. Uh, I'm the president of the Tactical Defense Institute, which is a uh, training uh, organization in the uh, state of Ohio. And I also have had a wonderful opportunity to uh, do some knife designs and work with, uh, with K-Bar knives. And we're particularly going to go over the um, uh, K-Bar TDI law enforcement uh, line. As I think it's one of the few knives on the market that are directed specifically uh, at law enforcement. I'd like to take an opportunity just to go over these different knives with you and a little bit about how they work, where you wear them, and all that kind of stuff. The first and initial knife that we started with was the small uh, K-Bar TDI law enforcement knife. This knife is, is designed specifically uh, as a weapon retention and an emergency tool uh, for uh, law enforcement officer or the armed citizen uh, to use uh, with their offhand uh, and to get themselves out of trouble in a potential weapon retention uh, situation or other type situations where they could possibly employ uh, lethal force. Uh, we suggest that uh, the knife be worn uh, on the off side of the body. We suggest on the inner belt, because we've got so much stuff on our belts now that it's very difficult to get anything else on it. it uh, consequently, uh, we made this to go uh, on the inner belt behind uh, like a magazine pouch or something on uh, on the duty belt. The knife actually comes in a uh, straight edge and a serrated edge version. It, uh, I'm not going to say that one is better than another. It, it's not. The, the original knife is designed, like I say, to be worn somewhere forward of the hips. And you can wear it in a forward or reverse grip, whatever is comfortable, and I think that's the key issue is comfort uh, that and accessibility. That if somebody goes for my firearm, that I can trap my firearm, I can go into them. If I can't, uh, don't feel that I can physically get this person off and that I'm going to lose my firearm and I need to escalate to uh, potential lethal force, I can literally get the knife out and, and do what I need to do to, uh, to, uh, to make that work for me. If it's worn forward of the hips, uh, depending on your situation, if you can get to it, you can get to it with either hand, which is, uh, which is a good thing. The knife will work as well in a reverse grip as it does in a forward grip. It, uh, just uh, a little bit different way. Shouldn't be any big, any big deal. We went and uh, we've done a, a larger version at, of the, of the uh, TDI, TDI knife. It comes in two uh, separate uh, blade styles, a drop point and a uh, tanto point. Uh, just depends on what you like or what you uh, you know what you want to do. It's um, uh, the the large version we envision more for tactical officers, military, uh, that type of thing. It's I think it's a little large for the average pat patrol officer to carry around, and the uh, the sheaths on the uh, on the large knife are designed to go on a military web belt, uh, on a law enforcement duty belt, or on the, uh, uh, you know, on the uh, molly gear for the military. So, you know, all those things will, all those things will work. Last thing I wanted to talk about was the, this is the uh, TDI, K-Bar TDI ankle knife. Extremely comfortable to wear. It, uh, I've been walking around out here, and um, you know, probably nobody noticed uh, the fact that it was there. It uh, very nice, easy to get to, uh, good to work with. And again, we look at this as more of a situational thing, not necessarily a primary carry thing. It's just that whatever you can get to at the time, you do. Okay, let's go over drawing real quick. When you draw this knife from the sheath, you want to seat that uh, finger into as deep as possible into the choil of the knife on the draw stroke. Very, very important. Don't get shallow and pull it out here. Seat it deeply. Just like you firearms people, you get that full hand master grip, the shooting grip on the gun as you pull the gun out of the holster. Same thing with the knife. And we can push 
off of, you'll feel serrations on the edge of the sheath. You can push that off of with your thumb to seat it deeper into your hand. Who feels fairly competent that they can get their knife out and opened reasonably quickly? I'm not asking. We've got a man right here. So we've got a guy who's got his own folding knife, and we've got a guy, he's got a TDI knife that he spent the last 10 minutes with. What we're going to do is we're going to show you right now the difference between the folding knife and the TDI knife in terms of speed. Dave here, uh, not only does he have a folding knife, he has a folding knife that is a very fast opening folding knife. Okay, are you ready? Right. On the beat. Okay, 2.48. 2.48 seconds. Okay, I'd like you to do it with a TDI knife. Your choice of hands, just watch yourself. Make sure you don't cut yourself on the wall. Okay, are you ready? On the beat. 0.87. We'll try the TDI knife. Okay, ready? On the beat. 0.92. What we see, we do classes, we do classes at the Ohio Peace Officers Training Academy. We run everyone through this drill with their folding knives and with the TDI knives. And what we see with this group is identical to what we see with our police students. We see that the slowest person with a TDI knife is always faster than the fastest person with the folder. And we see the same kind of things happening that when they deploy the folder, they flub the opening under just a little, you know, this stress is a little bit, you got all these people watching you got a camera here and you got a timer it gives you a little stress but it's nothing like the stress of real combat right they flub the opening and they don't have real good grips on it and it happens over and over even people these guys I can tell these guys have worked their knives before they know how to get their knives out but it's a weakness in the folding knife system okay we all carry folding knives but as weapons folding knives are inferior generally to the fixed blade knife and I don't think there's anyone that can argue with that just seeing this how much damage can someone do to you in the three seconds it's going to take you to get that folding knife out and open versus the one second that it takes with a TDI knife 